representing the pinnacle of UAC research and design, the BFG-9000 is the most advanced firearm ever designed. Fully self-contained and deployed as a handheld platform, it is capable of an excessive amount of firepower. The BFG-9000 contains sophisticated friend or foe technology that discriminates targets in real time. Each projectile contains a small but very powerful computer core that actively maintains targeting and delivers a stream charge down each beam to soften targets before detonation. The detonation stage of the projectile is devastating. Targets within 15 meters of the flashpoint are not likely to survive. While not recommended for small quarter combat, the BFG-9000 is ideal in the field and against multiple targets. The only foreseeable defense is small arms ballistics. If the projectile is destroyed before exploding, the computer core cannot process the final fusion reaction, resulting in a less than optimal detonation. For more information, contact the UAC's Advanced Weapons Department.
This is the scientific journal of Dr. Richard Davis, dated August 8, 2145. We've just broken through to a new chamber, and I think I found the map alluded to on one of the tablets. The artifact is constructed into the ceiling, and it is a magnificent find. It appears to be made of some crystalline material, and even after all this time, it is still emitting a soft glow. The markings on it were strangely familiar when I first observed it, and after digitizing it and analyzing it, I'm certain this is a map of our solar system. It seems to show a connection between Mars and Earth. My current working theory is that the last survivors used the teleportation technology to escape to Earth. The ramifications of this are overwhelming. This may end up proving that we are actually descendants of this race, and what we are exploring is our own history. I am going to report my findings as soon as we finish the excavation, and they should show up in corporate within a few days. These are truly exciting times. Log out.
millennia ago. Are you sure you killed them? What? You have the soul cube. Just like in the carvings I've been researching. If I'm correct, that cube is our only chance to stop this. No time to explain now. You need to get to the caverns quickly. Take my PDA. It's right there on the desk. It's got security codes for the area and my research logs on it. It'll help. I can't go with you. I need to finish my work here. Good luck. This is Dr. Pierce Rogers, lead archaeologist currently stationed on Mars. As the preliminary reports have suggested, we have made some amazing discoveries here on Mars. Life on Mars has long been theorized, but we never imagined anything like this. The initial chamber was discovered in 2115. It leads into what is now known as Site 1. Site 1 is the largest of the sites, and we are still actively working there. It is made up of a series of chambers and connecting tunnels, all of which are covered in glyphs and symbols. Using the UAC pattern processor, we have finally been able to understand some of the glyphs, and from them, here is what we have learned. The ancient people looked like us, at least to the extent that they were bipedal and were similar in shape and size. Their level of technology was astounding. For instance, the glyphs at each site were carved into the rock by some sort of machine, and each one is precisely cut from the stone. It far exceeds the precision of anything we can do. They had a social structure that seemed very aristocratic, with a lot of emphasis on social stature and structure. Site 2 is a much smaller set of chambers, mostly containing burial sites, temples, and various amounts of individual artifacts. This site has been photographed and cleared out, and all material is back on Earth for study and review. Site 3 produced our prize artifact, what we call the Soul Cube. If you have read or seen the other material, you probably know that this once grand civilization was attacked by some unknown force. And if we can believe what is written in stone, they sacrificed most of their society to drive the invaders back. There are additional reports filed on the Soul Cube with Central Administration. We also recovered several other device-type artifacts. They are not as ornate as the Soul Cube, but each appears unique. Still learning how to interpret all of the glyphs, and hopefully, once we have that completed, the science teams can provide more detailed information on their technology. Now, these are truly unique and special times for archaeologists. This is the audio log of Dr. Pierce Rogers. I don't know if I'll make it off the place alive. Time, so I'll sum up what I have quickly and upload the rest of my finding into the data bank. I hope someone finds them. It was all on the stone tablets, all the answers. I can't believe we never saw it. It was as plain as day. If we had only slowed down the development of the teleporters and tried to really learn what the tablets were trying to tell us, trying to warn us. The ancient people battled the same demons that are attacking us now. The demons came through the teleporters that they built, just like now. They created the Soul Cube and used it to stop the demons, to drive them back to hell. I don't know how, but that must be the answer. That is why that artifact was left behind, left for someone to find if something like that ever happens again. I can't reach Delta from here. I won't make it. I truly hope and pray someone finds the Soul Cube. And it helps. Lord, help us. End of log.
I'm locking the door after you leave. Good luck. I'm so close to discovering everything, I can't leave. I'm staying here to continue my research. I'm so close to discovering everything, I can't leave. <laughs> 